How do you feel today now that the death penalty has been decided by the judge? Cut. <laughs> just, just give me a minute, please. Okay. Just give me a minute. It's overwhelming. It's, it's like I never thought this day would come. And now it's here. And now I'm just stumped for words. I just wish Cherish was here to see it. How will you move forward from this now that I mean, it's gone on for so long? I don't move forward. I just exist now. I want to fight for children. That's my only thought in my head. And every day I'm reminded by what he's done. It's not fair that... I, I just don't know what to say. What were you thinking in court today? You looked like you were having a lot of a lot of thoughts. At first I thought the judge went for life because she was mentioning life and I was I was mad. I was. But I waited and when she said death penalty is when my tears started coming out. How would you like to help children? What are your thoughts? I want to strengthen laws keeping predators locked up where they should be so they don't have the chance to keep getting out to murder children, to lure parents such as myself that were naive that day, did, that I wasn't thinking straight. I had three little children. I was by myself. I had no clue he was a predator. He was let out for 21 days before he did this. The police knew who he was. We as a community did not know who he was. So you're going to talk to lawmakers? Yes. Okay. I would. I, that's, that's my goal, please. Okay. Yes. Does it feel like it's over, or does it feel like you've got a, a long road ahead still? You just answered my answer very well. It will never be over, but this is my fight now for children. I can't. I just can't stop. I'm so driven. There's so many cases. Brian, what do you want people to remember? I don't know how to answer that because every parent is going to be protective over their child and that's all I can say I, I just I love her very much and she didn't deserve this if you could talk to Donald Smith what would you say to him I can say burn in hell that's what I want to say I want him to burn in hell I hope he's watching this right now actually I looked right at him when I sit down uh, when I was walking in and he looked he looked at me and my words are just muffled right now it's hard to speak what did you sense when he looked at you i don't know he always looks away first every time i look at him and we lock eyes he always looks away first i don't think it's guilt though what is it like when you see him for you at first i couldn't do it for the first year i would scream and i couldn't i couldn't come to the courthouse now when i look at him i'm numb it's like I'm looking at something that's not even real, but he is real. Thank you.